Before we learn about commas to clarify meaning, we need to revisit our knowledge of commas. So today we will recap how to use commas to separate units of meaning, how to use commas with adjectives, how to use commas in a list. What is a comma? This curly punctuation mark may be small, but it has a mighty part to play in our writing. It helps writers to separate different parts of sentences and makes life much easier for us readers. Commas don't just change the way a sentence looks, they change how it is read. Let's take a look at an example of this in action. After hours of searching, Hélène finally found her tortoise hiding in the garden. In this sentence, the comma separates out different bits of information, also known as units of meaning. Did you hear the pause when the comma was read? It happened right after the first part of the sentence, after hours of searching. This tells us about how long Hélène was looking for her tortoise. The second part of the sentence, Hélène finally found her tortoise hiding in the garden, lets us know that she eventually found her pet. The comma breaks up the sentence into separate, more manageable chunks. Imagine you have a big chunk of text to read without any commas. Without these punctuation marks, you wouldn't know where to pause or which ideas belonged together. Commas also help us to separate out items in a list. On her trip to the coast, Bolu saw seals, puffins, otters, and lots of seagulls. In this sentence, there's a list of four different animals that live by the sea. Can you see the commas between each of their names? When we write lists, we always separate each thing in the list with a comma. This helps us to clearly see what the different things are. The comma between puffins and otters allows us to see that they are different animals and not the same. Without any commas at all, this sentence is much harder to read. On her trip to the coast, Bolu saw seals, puffins, otters, and lots of seagulls. A seal, puffin, otter would be a funny-looking animal, wouldn't it? When we use two or more adjectives in a sentence, we can separate the adjectives with a comma. Roman soldiers had short, sharp swords and tall, wide shields that they carried into battle. In this sentence, the nouns sword and shield are each expanded by two adjectives. When you expand something, you give more information about it. To do this, you might use a describing word. The adjectives short and sharp tell us more about the noun sword, while the adjectives tall and wide tell us more about the naming word shield. Here, the comma is being used in place of the word and. Rather than saying Roman soldiers had short and sharp swords, we can say they had short, sharp swords. Remember, whether you join your adjectives together using a comma or the word and is your choice. Think about what you feel sounds or looks better on the page. Because these adjectives are telling us different things about the object in the sentence, the commas create a gap between short and sharp so that we read the sentence accurately. Roman soldiers had short, sharp swords and tall, wide shields. Now there are no commas between the adjectives. Their separate meanings blur together. 
Commas keep sentences like this, tidy and clear, because they allow us to spot the difference between adjectives and other words around them. Commas separate different bits of information, like items in a list, and help us to keep similar ideas together. These fences keep sentences clear for the reader and allow us to share our ideas accurately.